Layout views on the Grand Name 2 are fantastic. It can be so creative to use video content to give color information to your pictures. With the help of the video mapping, I can program my own media server directly inside the console. Pictures I positioned in the layout, they get the color informations directly from the video content. For example, I created three layout views, they represented three video outputs. For a better understanding, I simply save the matrix of RGB pictures into each one. I easily can map a white solid over this and tint them into a color. For change the color, I'm able to use a fade time. A pool of videos are implemented. Here I can change the speed. I select the second layer, choose red and the video with the squares. The video color is black and white, but I can tint the white area into red and can choose a second color for the black parts. Layer 3 Here I like to rotate the content, also depending on the fade time. With Select All, all of the layers will react. For layer 2, the second color is changing and at layer 3, only a color is displayed if it is included the color informations of the content color. In this Grandime hack, I will explain the basics of a video mapping. For sure, there are many tutorials out to explain that. But the subsequent videos then build up to one another, up to the end of a full little media server. I will explain also to useful integrate this inside a startup show. You will find a link to download the video content in the comments below. First, I will call a layout pool to an open screen. To activate a layout view, I have to select a group of pictures and store them into an open place in the layout view pool. I open the layout view and find my pictures inside of layout 1. With Setup, I am able to move them. Different tools are available. Including this square, I am now rounding my pictures. The dialog menu opens automatically and the visualizing have to be at Bitmap. I already prepared my stage layout in view 5, so I will delete view 1 and copy my view from 5 to 1. After I'm ready with the layout, step 2 is upcoming. I have to patch a video picture. Inside of Setup and Patch menu, I will create a new patch layer. MR Lighting created a fixture named Bitmap that I need to choose. Fixture ID and the DMX address can be anywhere, we don't need that again. I store this fixture in a group. After I have my layout and my video fixture, it's time to think about content. Below in the comments, a selection of video clips is available for download. You have to store the files on a USB stick, we have a Grandime 2 ordering structure. GMA2 Bitmaps Here individual folders can be created. To import a video into my show, I will open the image pool first and find an open area. I will start with 25. Store the display view. For import the video, I will click right into an open place and click import image. Select the drive to my USB stick 
and there in bitmaps I find my folder video pad content. I select now all videos I like to have inside my show and click open. I close the dialog menu and be ready with importing my videos. To play a video now I will select my bitmap layer and choose a video. At the attribute video I give the output to layout view 1. The bitmap fixtures is working as a video layer, also I have to give the intensity. I will choose a black and white video now and store this to an open executor. If I like, I can tint the white areas with a color. It is useful to create presets for the bitmap fixtures. For the bitmap fixtures, there is an attribute called video preset. When I choose the color preset mode, I can give color presets for black at VP1 and for white at VP2. That means that the color will taken from the color presets. But this color presets are the presets from the RGB fixtures and not from the bitmap fixtures. And for this I have to give the intensity for the RGB fixtures too. There are some more parameters to adjust. For example, the speed can be also controlled by a speed master. You will find also position, scale, rotation and some more. In my next tutorial, I will show how to integrate that into your startup show that you are ready to play right after your console is switched on. I'm sure that in one of the upcoming videos I will find the time to show you more about this Granime eyes. I'm Fitz, thank you for watching this Granime 2 hack and I would be happy if you'll leave some commands below.